All right, we're practicing subtraction again today. Remember yesterday we um, talked about learning how to write our subtraction number sentences up and down? Um, we've been used to writing them left or right, side to side, and now we're gonna flip it and start at the top and work our way down, okay? Remember it was pretty easy because the numbers all stay the same. You just have to move them into a straight line. Can you grab a piece of paper at your house? I just grabbed one from my computer by my printer. Um, any kind of paper will do. We're gonna fold it in half like a hot dog. You can maybe get a grown up to help you if you need any help. Then you're gonna fold it like a hamburger. And you're gonna fold it like a hamburger one more time. Make sure you pinch those creases tight. And when you open it up, you should have eight rectangles. All right, let's practice some sent number or subtraction number sentences. First, Mrs. Quist has five minus four. So I need five, one, two, three, four, five counters, right? I need to take away four of them. One, two, three, four. How many are left? One, good job. All right, now we need to write five minus four equals one in a vertical number sentence or up and down. So first at the top, I'm gonna write my five. And you need to write a little minus sign over on the side. Scooch it over to the side, right? So you can have space to write the four. Then I need to write an equal sign. Do I write an equal sign like that when I do it vertical? No. Just a straight line. And then it equals one. See how all of my numbers are in a straight line? Can, do yours look like mine? All right, next one. Three minus one. Three chips. Right, it says to take away one. How many are left? Two. Okay, now let's write a vertical number sentence. So first I write the three, and the minus goes over on the side. That's really important that you scooch it over to the side to make space. Three minus one equals, is just that straight line, two. Three minus one equals two. Good job. All right, next, this one is a lot. Seven minus three. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because I need to take away three. One, two, three. How many are left? One, two, three, four. Good job. Okay, let's flip it so it's up and written. We can write it up and down. Seven minus three equals four. Does yours look like mine? Okay, let's do our last one. Eight minus four equals hmm, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's take away four. One, two, three, four. How many are left? One, two, three, four. Eight minus four equals four. Let's write it vertical. Can you do this one? Eight minus four equals four. There you go. All right, maybe you can flip it over and maybe you can make some subtraction sentences and ask someone in your house to solve them and you can be the teacher. If they get them all right, you can give them a big smiley face. All right, see you later.